Yum! Cardboard. How's it going, YouTube Nation? The Homie Game Guru here. Now, I don't do videos on the speculation market and call books. There's a lot of great YouTube channels out there that touch upon that. I do have a new series of videos about unknown comic book first appearances you might not know about, and I'm enjoying doing these weekly videos. But the reason why I'm coming out with this video about comic book speculation, and a quick one, I hope, is that I was at my local comic book store, Planet Hobby, in my city, Mississauga, Ontario. I was talking to the store owner, Philip, and we were just talking about how crazy the speculation market is in this current iteration of the comic book industry. That, yes, in the past, when a movie or TV show gets announced, yes, there would be a gradual growth in the value of a comic. But it seems like today, the most obscure dollar bin comic, the minute that a show or a movie or a video game is announced, it skyrockets to, like, insane amounts the same day. We've never seen anything like this in the comic book market. So I think it's kind of funny and crazy that I was just going through some of my comic books and organizing my collection, and uh, my phone dinged that uh, certain blogs uh, based on comic books, I get updates from them. And there was this update about Regina King being tapped to be the director of an image comic called Bitterroot. And I was thinking to myself, like, ah, oh, that sounds so familiar. I, I know I have that book. I think I have that book. And I realized that, yeah, I actually do have it. And I do recall the story. I only had the first issue, and I think... I think issue number five somewhere, where it's a, a story of a family in the 1920s in Harlem and they're monster hunters and they're dysfunctional like most families. And upon an invasion of monsters, they have to put their differences aside or figure it out so they could fight these creatures back in the day. And it's, it's an interesting concept, but again, it was one of those books that I gave no thought to and most people I know never gave any thought to. And now just out of curiosity, I go online and the prices are bonkers now going for like th this one I think is going for upwards of $200 graded ones going up for like four or $500. And then on top of that, you've got the variant versions of it. I didn't know there was a Akira cover of this and the Akira cover version of it is going for just insane amounts. So I just find this all fascinating where when, when anything is announced, for any comic book, it doesn't matter who it is, Marvel, DC, Image, Boom Studios, Fantagraph, it doesn't matter. Like the industry just goes nuts for it. So yeah, I just find this interesting. I'd love to know what you guys think, but um, yeah, if you're into comic book speculation and buying and selling, if you have Bitterroot, and I think there's only about um, like 24 issues of this book, I, I believe. But if you have any of the variants or anything, this book is going bananas right now. So uh, if you haven't known about that, well, now you know. And uh, yeah, this market is crazy, guys. Uh, like We've never seen anything like this. And um, I guess it's a, it's a good time to be into comic books. You guys take care and happy collecting.